Hello students, as we have discussed in previous lectures that how one state of matter can be converted into other state by heating, cooling or applying pressure. But you must have observed some natural phenomena in which water from various water bodies evaporate or get converted into water vapor by heating of sun and these natural phenomena occur spontaneously and how it occurs let us discuss that what is evaporation actually evaporation is a conversion of liquid state into vapor means any liquid can be converted into vapor but without heating that particular liquid means at room temperature on its own a liquid vaporizes as you can see here from a hot milk or hot tea vapors always coming through that so evaporation is change of a liquid into its vapor at any temperature below boiling point means for evaporation you don't require heating up to the boiling point of a liquid liquids will convert into their vapor on their own at any temperature because certain particles acquire that much kinetic energy to convert into vapor state. So there are various examples of evaporation you can find in your daily life. One we have seen that water from water bodies in water cycle always evaporate due to heat of the sun. Your clothes, when you wash your clothes and you uh, dry them out in the sun, they get dried because of evaporation of the water which is absorbed by the clothes. How evaporation takes place? Evaporation is a kind of surface phenomena. Means as you can see here in this video, particles only from the surface of the liquids, they escape the boundaries of the liquid because the particles which are present at the surface, they have higher kinetic energy as compared to the particles which are present in bulk. Matlab jo liquid ke andar particles hai, unke comparatively surface ke particles ki kinetic energy higher hoti hai. Because unke upar koi or particle present nahi hote jo unko kisi intermolecular, interparticle force se bind kar sake. That is why particles at the surface have higher kinetic energy and they easily absorb heat, small amount of heat from the surroundings and convert into vapor escaping the surface of the liquid. Now as we have discussed that evaporation is a surface phenomena. It only takes place through the surface. Now there must be some factors that will affect evaporation. So what are these factors? As it is a surface phenomena, the surface area of the liquid is the very important factor. Means kitna area surface liquid ka expose it open air ki that will evaporate faster second is temperature third is humidity fourth wind speed fifth is the nature of liquid let us discuss them one by one firstly surface area uh, suppose uh, consider you have taken water in a cup and you have taken water in a bowl means you have taken two different vessels one is a cup with the narrow diameters and one is a bowl or a saucer you can take with large open exposed surface area as you can see here if water is taken in a test tube and in a cup so if you keep both of the things in sun or you just leave it for few hours after some time you observe that the water left will be lesser in that broader cup whereas the le higher level of water will be observed in the test tube or the vessel with lower diameter. So that means jitna area aap expose karoge kisi bhi liquid ka utna zada uska evaporation fast hoga because higher the surface area more will be the particles exposed to the surface or jitne particles surface pe expose honge utne easily wo evaporate honge as you can see in your daily life clothes get dry easily when they are uh, exposed to open air but if you just put them in that wrinkled way then they will not dry easily 
Next is the effect of temperature. As we know that heat of the sun helps to increase the rate of evaporation because heat increases the kinetic energy of the particle. As we have already discussed in the chapter that kinetic energy of particle increases with increase in temperature. So if kinetic energy will increase, obviously more and more particles will uh, escape the surface of the liquid. Hence, rate of evaporation increases with increase in temperature. As you have seen here, one um, vessel of water is kept in sunlight and one side the water is kept in a cloudy area or closed room you can say. The rate of evaporation would be faster in this vessel which is kept in the sunlight. Now next factor is humidity. Humidity is the amount of water vapor present in air. Means air mein kitni water vapor already present hai. That is called its humidity. Now suppose at some places where humidity is higher. Means already air is saturated with lots of water vapor. As you can compare it with a container which is closed. Means humidity agar zada hogi to air water vapor absorb nahi kar paegi. In that case rate of evaporation decreases. So we can say in uh, and you must have observed that in rainy season when there is lot of humidity clothes take longer time to get dry because already air is containing a lot of water vapor in it and it cannot absorb more water vapor. So less humidity results in higher evaporation. Next is wind speed. As you know that when wind blows fast it carries away water vapor with it also because air is already water uh, vapor se saturate ho chuki hai, that will be blown away with the moving air moving wind and when wind blows fast it carries all that water vapor present in that particular area so it will allow the liquid to evaporate faster as compared to the area where wind is not blowing so this is how wind speed increases the rate of evaporation. Next important is nature of liquid. Actually there are different types of liquids and they are different because they have different inter-particle force of attraction. Matlab, particle kitni closely bound hai ek dusre ke saad, is pe depend karega rate of evaporation. Kuch liquids aise hote jo bahut fast evaporate hote. For example, nail polish remover as you are using in your daily life. It contains a chemical acetone. Acetone is when you keep it on your palm, what you feel? It gets evaporate instantly. When you use it on your nails, usi time aapke nails dry ho jate hain because it gets evaporate faster. Because there are various liquids in which particles are bound with very weak forces of attraction in liquid. So those particles get escape from the liquid faster as compared to water. So acetone, alcohol, petrol, diesel, kerosene, these are the liquids which evaporate faster as compared to water. Next is very important thing evaporation causes cooling means whenever evaporation takes place it causes a cooling effect in the surroundings. So you must have observed various daily life phenomena um, just I discussed that if you keep a drop of acetone or nail polish remover on your palm so it evaporates quickly leaving behind a cooling sensation on your hand. When you use deodorants and perfume they get evaporate and you feel a cooling effect after some time. And moreover um, when you perspire a lot, when your body sweat karti hai, aur aap sweating ke baad, agar, suppose you use a fan, so your sweat gets evaporate faster by using that fan and you feel cooling effect. This jab bhi aap sweat karti hai, aur wo sweat jab aapki body se evaporate hota hai, it causes a cooling effect. Then what is the reason that evaporation causes cooling? It is because during evaporation, particles require some amount of heat energy 
टू एस्केप दैट सर्फेस ऑफ द लिक्विड मतलब उनको इतनी कैनेटिक एनर्जी चाहिए कि वो लिक्विड की सर्फेस को एस्केप कर सकें तो वो पार्टिकल्स ये एनर्जी अपने आसपास के पार्टिकल से एब्जॉर्ब करते हैं मीन्स सराउंडिंग से एब्जॉर्ब करते हैं तो क्या होगा वो पार्टिकल्स तो हीट एब्जॉर्ब करके एस्केप कर गए लिक्विड से बचे हुए पार्टिकल्स में से जो हीट कम हो गई है दैट रिजल्ट इन कूलिंग इफेक्ट एंड वन इम्पॉर्टेंट फिनोमिना ऑल्सो दैट यू कैन ऑब्जर्व इन डेली लाइफ दैट अर्दन पॉट्स दे गिव यू कूल वॉटर ड्यूरिंग समर्स एज कम्पेयर टू द मेटेलिक कंटेनर लेटेस्ट डिस्कस दिस डेली लाइफ फर्स्टली यू मस्ट हैव ऑब्जर्व दैट वेन यू फील सम कोल्ड वॉटर और आइस इन अ कंटेनर आफ्टर सम टाइम यू फील वॉटर ड्रॉप्स आउट साइड दैट ग्लास ग्लास के बाहर वॉटर ड्रॉप्स आ जाती हैं तो दैट वॉटर ड्रॉप्स आर एक्चुअली प्रूविंग द प्रेजेंस ऑफ वाटर पेपर इन एयर वो वाटर पेपर जब उस ठंडी जगह पर जाके कलेक्ट होती हैं मतलब स्ट्राइक करती हैं ग्लास की वॉल को बाहर से तो ग्लास अंदर से काफ़ी कोल्ड है एज कम्पेयर टू द आउटर एयर तो दीज वाटर पेपर गेट कंडेंस ओवर देयर तो ये बाहर जो आप वाटर ड्रॉपलेट्स देखते हो ग्लासेस के या किसी भी वेसल के बाहर जब आपने उसमें कुछ ठंडा सब्सटेंस फिल करके रखा हुआ है दोज वाटर वेपर्स आर दी कंडेंस्ड वाटर वेपर्स फ्रॉम एयर Secondly, why earthen pot keeps water cool? This is because earthen pots, जो मिट्टी के pots होते हैं they have small pores on their surface. छोटे छोटे pores होते हैं छोटे छोटे holes होते हैं उनकी surface में और इन pores के through water easily evaporate हो सकता है तो water oozes out from these pores by taking heat from the water which is present in the पॉट इट सेल्फ मतलब पॉट के अंदर जो और वाटर मॉलिक्यूल्स हैं उनसे वो हीट एब्जॉर्ब करते हैं सरफेस के वाटर जो वाटर पॉट्स के सरफेस पे प्रेजेंट है और उन पोर्ट्स के थ्रू इवेपोरेट हो जाते हैं तो वो हीट कहाँ से ले रहे हैं इवेपोरेशन के लिए ओनली फ्रॉम द वाटर प्रेजेंट इन साइड दैट पॉट एंड दैट इज वाई द वाटर विच इज लेफ्ट इन साइड दैट अर्दन पॉट इज गेटिंग कूल तो दिस इज द रीजन वाई अर्दन पॉट कीप्स वाटर कूल बट अदर यूटेंसिल्स डू नॉट बिकॉज मेटेलिक पॉट्स डू नॉट हैव सच काइंड ऑफ पोर्ट्स दैट विल अलाउ इवेपोरेशन तो इवेपोरेशन डजेंट टेक प्लेस फ्रॉम मेटेलिक पॉट्स इट टेक्स प्लेस ओनली थ्रू अर्दन पॉट्स क्लोज यू कैन से इफ समथिंग इज कैप्ट ओपन तो इवेपोरेशन ऑलवेज टेक्स प्लेस बट इन अ क्लोज कंटेनर इफ इट इज मेड अप ऑफ अर्दन और क्ले यू कैन से देन दैट क्ले पॉट हैज सर्टेन पोल्स pores through which evaporation takes place and also our skin skin has very minute pores and when sweat glands release that sweat so that sweat get exposed to the air from our skin and it gets evaporate or we evaporate hone ke time pe heat kahan se lega obviously those sweat particles will absorb heat from our body itself aur hamari body a cooling sensation feel feel karti hai so this is very interesting example of cooling where um, it takes place due to evaporation plants also feel a cooling effect due to transpiration because transpiration is a kind of evaporation next is how boiling is different from evaporation as we have discussed earlier that when liquids convert into vapor the process is called boiling but that can conversion takes place only at a fixed temperature which is called boiling point to so, boiling point tak liquid ko heat karna zaruri hai tabhi liquids boil honge otherwise nahi but evaporation takes place at any temperature aapko heat karne ki zarurat nahi hai aap openly kahin par bhi liquids rakh rahe ho they will get evaporate and you can see here in this particle diagram that evaporation mein sirf surface ke particles लिक्विड की बाउंड्रीज लीव कर रहे हैं वेयर एज इन बॉइलिंग पार्टिकल्स फ्रॉम द बल्क मतलब कहीं से भी लिक्विड के अंदर पार्टिकल्स अपनी लिक्विड की बाउंड्रीज को छोड़कर वेपर में कन्वर्ट हो जाते हैं तो बॉइलिंग इज अ बल्क फिनोमिना वेयर एज इवेपोरेशन इज अ सरफेस फिनोमिना सो नाउ विल लिस्ट आउट दीज इंपॉर्टेंट डिफरेंसेज इवेपोरेशन इज अ सर्फेस फिनोमिना बॉइलिंग इज अ बल्क फिनोमिन Evaporation takes place at any temperature below boiling point, whereas boiling takes place only at specific temperature called boiling point of that particular liquid. Evaporation के लिए आपको external heating की जरूरत नहीं है It naturally takes place, but boiling requires that external heating up to 
दैट टेम्परेचर वेयर बॉइलिंग टेक्स प्लेस मतलब बॉइलिंग पॉइंट तक हीट करना जरूरी है जिससे अगर वाटर को आपने बॉइल करना है 100 डिग्री सेल्सियस तक हीट करना जरूरी है बट वाटर इवेपोरेट अपने आप हो जाता है आप कहीं चाहे किसी रूम में रख दीजिए कहीं भी रख दीजिए बट उसको ओपन वेसल में छोड़ दीजिए इट विल इवेपोरेट ऑन इट्स ओन बिलो द बॉइलिंग पॉइंट इट सेल्फ इवेपोरेशन ऑलवेज कॉज कूलिंग बट सच कूलिंग इफेक्ट इज नॉट ऑब्जर्व इन बॉइलिंग evaporation is a slow process because it takes place spontaneously so it takes time and it takes place from the surface only so on few particles from the surface get to evaporate whereas boiling is a fast process because it takes place from the bulk itself so particles as a whole get converted into liquid form and evaporation no bubbles are formed वेयर एज इन बॉइलिंग बबल्स फॉर्म बिकॉज इट इज अ बल्क फिनोमिना तो वेन पार्टिकल्स फ्रॉम द बल्क Uh, escape the boundaries of the liquid they form bubbles hope you understood all this thank you have a nice day